Hey guys, it's Cherie and today I will be sharing with you a wash and go. I tested out some new products. I've already uploaded one video using the Uncle Funky's Daughter products, but I only used a couple of the products that came in the kit. Today I used the remaining products so that I could see which products performed better on my hair. So if you like my results and you're curious about what I use, please keep on watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you are a returning person to my channel, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you so much. Let me go ahead and share with you the actual items that I used in this video. The very first thing that I use is the Thirsty Curls Leave-In Spray, which is a very nice spray, I can say right off the bat. And the next thing that I used is an extra butter cream, and it says that it provides brilliant shine. So it's a brilliant shine cream. And then the last thing that I used, which I also used in the last video that I did on Uncle Funky's Daughter, is the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. So, if you want to see how I applied these products to my hair and how they worked and what my thoughts are, please keep watching. Okay, it's time to get started. First thing we're going to do is take this hair down. As you already know, I generally cleanse my hair and detangle in the shower. This is what it looks like today, Saturday. So I did a deep conditioning treatment and I also co-washed. The co-wash that I love, I'm obsessed with right now is Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind Avocado Quinoa Co-wash. It's amazing. It's almost like a conditioner, just a regular old conditioner. Like it gives you lots of slip cleans your hair and since I do have a dry itchy scalp most of the time I find that using that my scalp actually feels soothed when I use it so that is my co-wash that I prefer the next thing that I did was I took the weed ad meltdown extreme repair mask and this is for dry damaged textures this stuff is amazing it's expensive but it works really well and I do recommend that anyone who has color treated their hair or just has extremely dry hair give this a shot it's really good. Okay, so now that my hair is clean and it was detangled with the conditioner in the shower, I am going to go ahead and spray down my hair because these products are recommended to be used on soaking wet hair. So I'm gonna take my new sprayer here and I purchased this on Amazon. It is the Beauty, Beautify Beauties spray bottle. And I'm going to spray my hair to make sure that it's nice and juicy. And I think that's wet enough. It's not completely soaking wet, but I really don't want to get my clothes too wet. It's definitely wet though. Okay, so now that my hair is wet, I'm gonna go in with this Thirsty Curls, the Leave-In Curl Revitalizer. And I'm going to spray this section down with this spray. You might be wondering why I'm using so much and the reason why is because when I tried the Midnight Train spray and the other stylers, I just felt like I needed a bit more moisture on day two and three. So um, I'm seeing if adding additional of this Thirsty Curls will make a difference at all in my hair. Now that I'm gonna, I've already sprayed that down, I'm gonna split my hair into two sections on this side. I'm going to take this side over here and clip it. And I'm taking this Extreme Butter Brilliant Shine Cream. And this one says that it hydrates, protects, detangles, um, and aids with shine to kinky curls. This is my first time using this product, so it has been untouched. This is how much is in the bottle. As you see, there's a slight dip here where there is no product. I'm going to take about this much to start and apply it to this section of my hair. Um, right away I can tell you it's melted into my hair. I don't feel like I really put anything on my hair. So I'm going to go in with more. I'm taking my Tangle Teaser and I'm starting from the bottom and I'm just really smoothing the product into my hair with this tool. I really don't feel like there is anything in my hair. It's super light. Um, it does make me a little nervous. I can tell you that when I tried the Super Curl that I made the mistake of putting a little bit too much on. Um, and so I'm trying not to do that. It's just that feeling of 
thinking that there isn't enough moisture because the products melt into your hair that it's really got me. So I'll stop there even though I really want to add more. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Curl Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. And as I mentioned in the other video, I did buy the full size of this because I knew I would like it and I was right. It's super good. Really lightweight, goes through the hair really smoothly and easily, no hangups, doesn't feel kinky in the hair or sticky or anything like that. So it's a really nice product. And I did use too much of this last time I used it as well. And if you're wondering if it plays nicely with other products, I have tried it with a couple of Camille Rose leave-in conditioners and it performed really nice with both of them. So this is definitely a really good universal gel to have um, in your collection. Um, I think I will be continuing to use it as a staple. So anyways, let's move this to the back and I'm gonna take this front piece here and do the whole process all over again because I'm sure that it's dried some since I initially sprayed it. I'm gonna add some more just on top where I have the most breakage and damage just to make sure that there is enough moisture. The top of my hair is what is like in desperate need of moisture. So let's go in with this Thirsty Curls again. Just right there on top. It really sounds like I still have shampoo in my hair, it's weird. And I'm taking that cream, same amount as I started with on the bottom and applying it to the top. And again, as you can see, it's melting right in. The products smell really good. It smells kind of like lemon. I think the other, the curl cream um, that I tried last time also, I believe, smelled like uh, lemon. One of the products smelled like honeydew melon, and um, one of them smelled like lemon. Let's see. Now, this is supposed to be good for detangling, and as I mentioned, this section was already detangled. And I can tell you right now that I am having a bit of trouble getting this brush through my hair. Um, this, as I mentioned, is my dry damaged area of my hair. So if you have dry damaged hair like mine, um, I would not rely on this product as a detangler because as you can see, it's getting caught up and this was already detangled in the shower. So I don't know about that. It did really well on my healthy hair in the back, but on this damaged hair, I don't know about the claims for detangling. Hopefully it's a really good styling aid, um, even though it's not necessarily good for my damaged hair for detangling. Okay. Oh, I just always feel like I don't have enough moisture in my hair. I'm going to go ahead and add that on the ends. And now the gel. And I took one pump to start. And I'm really just finger raking it through. I really love this gel. It is just an effortless, easy product to work with. I love it. All of these products are so incredibly lightweight. I mean, incredibly lightweight. Like you can see that it's on there because the transformation from what my hair looked like pre-product, but it doesn't feel like I have anything on my hair. So that's really good. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more on the whole section at the ends and scrunch up a bit um, to just really help um, these damaged curls to spring up. Okay. Now, I'm going to move on to the other side. And unless I have some important information to share with you, I'm just going to speed it up. Um, 
so that you don't have to hear me talk the whole time. <laughs> and I'll be using the same exact process that I did on the other side. very strange about this thirsty curls is when I spray it in my hair and start to work it through I can hear a fizzing and a bubbling noise like if I have shampoo in my hair and I noticed it on this side but I didn't realize that it was after spraying my hair that I heard the sound so that's interesting and I wonder what in this product causes that sound but it's kind of interesting see this like zero definition puffiness and it's very wet so it's not like it's dry right there it's very strange I'm not sure if it's going to be a heavy enough product to penetrate my hair gel is what's making the difference in making my hair smooth and defined um the actual cream itself i don't think is heavy enough for my hair it doesn't seem to have penetrated as much as i thought it would because i'm still experiencing like that puffy uh dry look in my most damaged areas of my hair now i'm doing this to the back because my hair, since it's gotten thinner um, because of breakage and stuff, it for some reason it keeps naturally parting down the middle. It drives me bananas. But So I'm trying to just kind of distribute my hair so I don't have that natural part there straight down the middle. It's so frustrating. Could be from years of wearing my hair in two ponytails <laughs> too. Who knows? It might not have been as noticeable when my hair was thicker. Okay guys, so this is what my hair is looking like. So far it looks pretty good. I am concerned about this area right here um, because it does seem puffy and less defined as this side. Um, it is the thicker side of my hair too, so that might be why. But this is what my hair is looking like, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna take some hours now, go to Target and shop and do all my errands and everything. And then I will come back and hopefully my hair will be dry and we can fluff it out together and I can tell you how I like the overall finish results using these products. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back. My hair is dry. It has been five hours since I washed my hair. So that just kind of lets you know how long it took for my hair to dry. Um, before I scrunch out any of the crunchy spots from the gel, I want to tell you how I feel about the way it dried. I feel like it looks really nice. However, I have a crazy amount of shrinkage in the back. And I generally do have shrinkage, but it, it looks crazy. <laughs> Usually I have a pretty much, this section right here will shrink up altogether. Um, but it's like shrinking in random places. So I don't know what that's about. It's very strange to me, but it could be the weather. It is raining outside, which is why I've changed into my hoodie. 
sweatshirt, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Additionally, my hair is a bit more crunchy, um, and I think it's because, as I mentioned before, I had the same problem last time I used the cream along with the gel, and it's that because it feels like you're not putting anything in your hair, I keep looking for that feeling of product. So I think I applied too much, especially with the gel, and it's partly because this section right here was just so fluffy looking, even though it was wet. Um, so I added a little bit too much gel. So there, it is pretty crunchy, but I will tell you my curls seem to be separated really nicely. That I do like, so once I do fluff and all of that, these curls will be individuals. They won't be like, you know, five big fat curls, which is something that I've been struggling with. In some of my other wash and go um, videos that I've done is that mass areas of curls want to clump together. <laughs> and when I try to separate them, sometimes they get too frizzy. So let's see what happens when I apply oil and kind of scrunch out the hair. I can also tell you the areas that are not crunchy seem to be really soft. Um, but there isn't like a greasy feeling at all, but I do feel like there is some type of moisture happening. I do feel like a light oil feeling like you know after you apply your oil to your hair and you do this it kind of feels like that a little bit but not in a bad way it just lets me know that there is some type of moisture happening um with these products so that's interesting so i'm going to take my shea moisture coconut oil i haven't used this in a while and i kind of think that i stopped using it right before i started having all kinds of problems with my hair i've been trying to pinpoint besides color what could have you know contributed to some of my hair breakage um, and one of the things that I had stopped doing is using coconut oil and part of that is because I saw a video and this girl was saying that as you know with coconut oil when the temperature is cold it hardens right and she was saying that it's winter time so if you put that on your hair it's going to harden and it's going to lock out moisture now I think about it I'm like well I warm it up in my hands it melts it absorbs very quickly to my skin so what was I thinking I should have never stopped using it this is why in addition to these awesome videos that we're all putting out we also have to do some research and just know what works for our own bodies in our own hair so well I appreciate everyone's videos and I hope that people are appreciating my appreciating my videos we also have to try some things on our own so Anyways, I'm taking about that much. I've just rubbed some on my scalp. I want to rub some more. My scalp has been so itchy and dry ever since I freaking tried that um, Aussie Moist Curl Collection. Oh, I just feel like it stripped my scalp of something. I don't know if that even makes sense or if it's possible, but my scalp has not been the same since. And when I do my co-wash, um, in deep conditioning treatments, it feels good in the moment and while my hair is wet, but as soon as my hair dries, I'm back to being itchy. Ugh, it's the worst. So anyways, I'm just adding coconut oil um, and scrunching out some of that gel. I do kind of feel like my hair is slightly damp still in some places, not everywhere, just a couple of places seem a little bit cold. You guys know that feeling, right? Where your hair feels cold, so you assume it's wet. That's how I feel. But do you see how like breaking up the gel cast has added such nice fluff to my hair? I really like the way that looks. I'm looking in my viewfinder because I don't have a mirror. Um, but this is what it's looking like so far. I actually really like it. Like It definitely is making my hair um, fuller than usual. I'm scared to turn around and look at the back because I can, it's so shrunken. I'm going to turn and maybe you can see what I'm talking about, but it is so shrunken and it's definitely not because of my hoodie because I just put my hoodie on. The majority of the time when my hair was drying, I still had on my pink shirt and there was no bulkiness around the neck. So nothing that should have caused it to push up and dry weird. So, hmm, I don't know. I think when I finally cut my hair, I'll probably cut the front shorter than the back. Um, just so that it won't look so odd that this is so drawn up and the front is so long. Um, but it's just because my curls in the front are just not as tight, too. And during the summer, this back shrinkage won't even be an issue. But for right now, we're just trying to get through these winter months. So this is what my hair is looking like. 
I like it. I think it looks really good. I'm going to actually flip over and do a little bit more of this massaging of the oil in my hair because I do still have some on my hands. And fluff some more. And let's see. I think it looks really nice. Super fluffy. It's super soft. There's absolutely no more crunch. So even though I did feel like I applied too much product a little while ago, I'm starting to think that maybe it was the right amount of product because it definitely scrunched out very easily. There's no crunchy parts now at this point. And this is what my hair is looking like. Uh, very defined. I don't have any frizz. No frizz at all. And this area that I was concerned about, it doesn't have as tight of curls and right here it does seem like it it's a bit fluffier um it doesn't look crazy though and i know that i can probably re-wet it tomorrow and just like kind of reactivate the product that's on that section and i'll probably be fine and because this um thirsty curls is a spray leave-in i can probably use this to reactivate the other products in my hair so I'm really happy about how this looks. Um, comment below and let me know if you think that this was a good wash and go. I think for me personally, I do like this extra butter better than the super curl. Let me make sure that's right. Yeah, I like it better than the super curl. Although they both have a very light consistency and definitely worked through the hair really nicely and easily as though they themselves were also water. Um, I feel like this one gave me a better result. I think it looks nicer. It's fluffy and I really like it. I will say that if you watch my other video with the Super Curl, it didn't have as much fluff. Um, but I think they both are nice creams. They definitely both seem to work really nicely in my hair. Um, as for this Curly Magic, it is Curly Magic. <laughs> I mean, I have been struggling with uh, products shrinking my hair up so badly and then causing frizz. And every time that I've used this, I've gotten at least a minimum of three days out of my wash and go, which is, you know, usually the goal. I mean, if I can get five days and that includes like, you know, a high ponytail, half up, half down, a bun, then I'm pleased. But I was actually able to keep a wash and go down style for three days using this gel each time I've used it. And so I will say that this, if you don't get anything else from the line and your hair is similar to my hair, invest in this gel because it's amazing. But again, I mean, this set here, the sample set, Target, 20 bucks, and you can get to try all their things. And I'm not, I'm not disappointed that I bought this and I am going to use everything up because nothing in this line be, reacted badly on my hair. I feel like it all worked out really nice. Um, it's just picking and choosing the items that I feel work the best on my hair. Um, and I'm happy that I got the sample kit because I was able to determine that I do enjoy the extra butter better than the super curl. So anyway, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please do give me a thumbs up. And please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join me as I go on this journey of natural hair. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.